Hello you guys, welcome back to Lex Journey with Spirit. I am Lex, your host, and I would like to take the moment here to thank all of my returning and new subscribers and viewers for tuning into the channel as your support is highly needed and is definitely appreciated. Now, if you haven't already done so already, please take a moment to definitely hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe and definitely hit that notification button so that way you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's jump right on in here into today's reading and see what Spirit has to say today and to see exactly um, what energies I'm currently picking up on. Now, before I started this video, you guys, I will tell you this. I was getting a channel message of, bitch, I wish you would pull up, pull up, and I'll do a bitch up. Now, remember that these are general messages um, that I receive from Spirit and from the collective as I am reading for a huge amount of people. So therefore, do take what resonates, leave the rest, as some of this information may not pertain to you or your person or your situation as you know your situation better than anybody else. All right, so let's jump in here and clarify this channel message that I was receiving from Spirit. I'm also getting from Spirit that someone needs to buckle down and get their shit together because they've been too they've been too reliant on outside sources now whoever that message is for again take what resonate leave the rest but i'm getting that you need to back up off of what you don't don't know you don't know what you're dealing with you don't know what you're dealing with i hear somebody saying you don't know what you're dealing with spirit let me get a message in reference to oh spirit threw these cards out like spirit is ready should i take these spirit no all right <laughs> All right, so Spirit, let me get a message for the collective in reference to this channel message. Who is this person? Who is saying pull up? What is what is in reference to this pull up, Spirit? All right. All right, those cards, that card was flipped upside down in the deck. All right. And as you can see, those cards on the board currently. All right, so... Spirit saying running in circles and what I get from that card is that someone um, either you or your person is having a hard time um, understanding a situation or either you're trying to find a way out of a situation um, or there are some problems or obstacles coming your way that is causing you to really wrap your head around the situation yes yeah, see this message bitch please like a stranger danger. <laughs> so whoever this person is, you don't really know them per se. You're not really familiar with them um, as far as who they are as a person. Um, you may know them through a third party or through someone else, but they particularly don't care too much for you. Um, I hear somebody say, bitch, I don't like you. Um, you play with the right one. Um, I feel as if this is a cat fight kind of argument or disagreement. Spirit, what is this argument about? Love me. So this may be pertaining to a, a gentleman or a female. I'm sensing someone, another person involved in this situation. Like this person feels as if that they shouldn't, that this person shouldn't be speaking to you. They feel like that you're below this person. Screw this man, pick up this deck. All right. Um, this person feels as if you're a low vibrational, like they don't feel like you're cut out for this person. I feel as if this person is a part of this person's friend group. Spirit, let me get a message in reference to the, all right, these two cards parked out. So lesson learned, secret lover. So this person may be a secret lover of this person who you don't know, stranger danger. Be careful who you also have around you at this time. I also see the number 80, um, 80, 88. Um, but again, Spirit is saying, take the time to be careful who you have around you at this time. Whoever this person is that is connected to this person or you or your person, they really don't like you. Like, they're a narcissistic asshole. Like, this person really thinks they got all everything in the bag. Like, they got a lot of fucking sense. In reality, they don't got no sense at all. Like, it's as if they're, 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 they're an ankle biter to this person. Like, this person really don't want this person around they're only around because they're easy i'm hearing i'm hearing the word easy if they make sense for somebody again i'm seeing the number 80 um which is angel number uh, possibly a twin flame signifies abundance i see prosperity um 
But again, this is some, this is, this is your angel stepping in trying to tell you that, you know, at the end of the day, honesty and respect is very important. And however, um, you're going to overcome a lot of these issues through divine intervention. But again, this is a secret lover, somebody who really don't care for you. And this person, whoever this other person is, this third party, they're like, bitch, please. Like, who the fuck is you? I hear this person saying, like, who the fuck is you? Like, I was here first. I hear somebody saying, I was here first. All right, spirit. Clarify the lesson learned. What lesson is to be learned here, spirit? All right. Spirit threw those cards out with no remorse. The blue card landed first. Spirit said, take that. Uh, all right. Oh. So whoever this person is, they may be a Pisces. Um, whoever this other person is, they're definitely plotting on you. This bitch please energy. Um, they're definitely plotting on you. They don't really care too much about you. This person who you're dealing with, they've been running in circles in reference to this connection. They're unsure on how to move forward in this connection. As whoever they're currently or past relationship or friendship is, they have a lot of outside um, influences um, influencing this connection. Um, putting in their two cents. As you know, everybody has an opinion, just like an asshole. But whoever this person is, they're definitely an asshole. And... You don't, I feel as if you guys know little about each other, but may know of each other is what I'm doing here. All right, spirit. What messages do you have for the collective today in reference? All right. So yeah, animosity, jealousy. So whoever this person is, they're definitely jealous of you. They feel like that you have something of value that they don't have. You know what I'm saying? As if you're you're popular or you're abundant in some way or you're more likable than them. Like, this person really doesn't want you around this particular person. Whoever this person is, you or someone around you, they particularly, they particularly don't care. Someone's also dealing with a hater or a backstabber, somebody trying to plot and take money or funds away from somebody. Spirit, what are the messages you have for the collective? Ooh. Spirit said, take the upright cards, not face down. All right, Spirit, take upright, not face down. All right, so take all the uprights. I have a lot of cards here. <laughs> All right. So, Spirit dropped these cards on the board. I accidentally picked up the word bitch, please. So, I guess Spirit wanted me to say, whoever this person is, yeah, they're really hell bit on it. Like, they're like, bitch, please. Like, I really wish the fuck you would try me. Like, I hear somebody saying, I wish you would try me. Test me if you want to. Whoever this person that you're waiting on, you and this person will definitely be reunited. But however, it will come with some things and some obstacles in the way. And you guys will definitely have to figure out some things that pertain to your relationship. Um, in order, and definitely communication here. I hear communication being a big issue here or factor. All right. So this person, also the number 555 popped up. Which lets me know that your higher self or connection with higher self, abundance and prosperity um, is definitely upon the horizon. Um, but do do understand that whoever this person is, I'm getting an energy of just pure jealousy. Like my chest hurt. Like seriously, like my chest hurt. Like, this person is this mean. Like, I hear them huffing and perfing. I hear somebody huffing and perfing. Like, but do know with the 555 jumping out here, like, this is this is significant in your life. As again, you know, there's a number 18 on the board. I see 18. I also hear, I also hear Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini, um, if that's important to somebody. But this is a this is a major change here with this 555 new opportunities coming your way definitely be prepared because the universe is shaking up some things in your world some um, I also hear the angels are stepping in on your behalf to protect you as you're protected by outside forces and by your ancestors as well um, travel is on the horizon I definitely see a lot of you guys getting out and getting around and some of you guys have been you know held or held bound or stuck to a certain situation or place I feel as if a lot of you guys Guys have been overworked, um, overstimulated by something. Um, I hear spirits say um, tied down um, 
massive hours some of you may have been working overtime a lot of overtime now is the time to take that trip i also see a love reunion or a reconnection from a former relationship um you was right i was wrong so whoever this former person was they definitely it's as if you warned them about this person or this third party or this friend that's around them that a you need to watch out i don't particularly care too much about this person this person i don't think they like me like, every time I come around, they always got something to say. They're being snickery. Um, they're talking about, about you behind your back or in front of your face about things that are not relevant or not true um, or don't pertain to you in any sense. Like, I hear them going over and beyond. I hear Spirit also saying this person is very vindictive and manipulative. When it comes to this person, but with the angel number 18, that lets me know that there's an end to a certain chapter in your life that's nearing like an end of a cycle or a phase because this person is not going to get be able to, to, to move forward on this hate or plotting or planning that they're having towards you yeah whoever this person is they want nothing but less of temptation um they have some form of attraction towards your person but your person is not giving them the same emotional response or connection that i'm hearing spirit say like this person is being rejected to the fucking fullest like bitch get out my face you you already know what it is like we're just friends like why are you tripping i heard somebody telling somebody why are you tripping um, yeah, except your person wants you to accept their apology because they feel as if they're responsible for this person's behavior and they feel as if they should have had stepped in a long time ago when it came, it came down to this person, this person being disrespectful and rude towards you, but your person was so naive that they were trying to keep you, but keep their friendship at the same time. It's as if they placed a lot of people, places and things before you and didn't realize how important this connection was. Yeah. This person sees the bigger picture and confirmation from spirit. Like, this person truly sees the bigger picture here. They really want to move forward. Yeah, fight or flight situation. Stability standing on solid ground. So, this person is learning to stand on their own two feet. They're learning that this situation requires them to, to take action. Um, I see the two of pentacles. I also see the eight of wands. I also see the ace of, um, the ace of cups. Like, this person has to move swiftly and smoothly. Also see the number 39 here on the board, um, here on your card. Also, 99. The, as these signifies change and an ending and a beginning to new change and, and, and stability. Um, with the number 99, to me, that symbolizes, you know, a, 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 a ending but a beginning to something new. Um, as well, but it also it also shows that you know you are experiencing new things that are going to be beneficial to you, and you're unmasking things that were hidden to you as well. So you're starting to see the bigger picture. You're unmasking things that were hidden to you, and then with the number fifty nine, you know, on the board here, you know, that lets me know that whoever this person is is definitely trying to purvey a message of being positive. Like these are positive changes. Like don't take anything as a coincidence like say friends you run into somebody you haven't seen in months or years or month or, or weeks this week spirit wants you to say no that this isn't a coincidence like you're running into this person or um being being um introduced to a situation for a reason because um there's a lesson or connection here that is needed in order for you to grow um i'm hearing something about money i'm seeing it and uh, someone getting some uh, large lump sum of money or being provided something um, or borrowing something because they need it. I hear somebody saying, I need to, um, my light bill. I hear somebody applying for assistance for a light bill and paperwork being misplaced or something like that. Spirit, give me a message um, in reference to the collective and in reference to this person and what they're currently currently dealing with. Like, what is this, this person? Who is this message pertaining to, Spirit? This is message pertaining to spirit. All right. So yeah, this person has taken time alone to really, it's as if you've left them there to study. But that's how I see some of you guys taking time alone to really sit back and analyze the situation as you're trying to figure out whether or not it is your place to step in and say something in reference to this person's relationship um, that was there before you. Um, you also feel as if that is important to set boundaries for, for some of you guys. I feel as if that this is a time for you to really reflect um, for self-reflection um, with the number 68. Um, that definitely lets me know um, and it's confirmation um, for me that you guys are stepping into a position and a period that reassures you that of approval, like success and achieving and management. Like, But in order for that to occur, you really got to take the time to really step step aside and really sit down and learn from the lessons in which you and you and your person is currently going through. Like you guys are really learning some lessons in order to grow and become stable and to reach solid ground. 
Um, but do know this person really wants to be with you. They hope that you can accept their apology. They want to see an abundance as they see a future with you. They're starting to see the bigger picture as they're letting go of things that do not favor them. Um, but a lot of positivity here. All right. No fuck boy, no fuck girls. They do not want to bring any animosity or confusion your way. They are not a fuck boy. They are not a fuck girl. They don't want any of that energy or type of energy around them. They definitely want to provide you with some form of stability. Um, I hear somebody saying, I want to get married. Um, I also see... Um, Somebody's birthday being November and here in the month of November, I'm seeing the, the number 22, 17. I'm also hearing um, Aries, Aquarius, Libra. I'm also hearing uh, spirits say the color blue, yellow, and purple uh, may be significant for somebody. I'm also seeing um, an address as being Clifford or Rosedale. If that makes sense to somebody, Clifford, Ro I'm hearing the street Clifford, Rosedale, um, Huntington. If that makes sense for somebody, Spirit, what other messages do you have for the collective today? All right, that card dropped down on the ground. Let me go ahead and pick that card up. All right. Let me go ahead and pick this card up off the ground that fell. All right. What a card, girl. All right, this person said they can't swim, like they're drowning without you. Like whoever this person is, like they're drowning without you, like they can't swim. Like you keep them afloat, you give them hope, you give them clarity, you give them understanding, peace of mind, and they are nothing without you. They're starting to realize that they can't, whoever this person is, they're realizing that these friends that they relied on so much, these people that they put before you are not reliable, that they had no good intentions for them. And they're starting to step aside and really put down those baggages and come towards you and really make amends. Um, yeah, whoever these friends were, they were definitely full of love and hate. They had a lot of resent. Um, they were very resentful when it came down to the relationship because they felt like you were taking their best friend away or their friend away and that they weren't getting what they needed. Yeah, a journey on a long road. So whoever this person is, they definitely were you you guys definitely went on a long road, which is a lesson to be learned, which is a journey on a long road, you guys. And you you learn you learn through this process of growth. Yeah, because whoever this person is that was around your person, you or your person, they were liars, cheaters, stealers, and I also see somebody um I also hear spirits say, uh, don't you know no good? I hear the song, don't you know no good? If that resonates with someone, I also hear young M.A. hennied up. So whoever this person may be, they might like to indulge in alcohol, liquor of some sort. Um, yeah, self-worth, taking back their power. So whoever this person is, they're definitely taking back their power. They're staying in their ground. They're learning to walk away from situations that are unfavorable to them. As this person does not... Does not um, they've grown spiritually, emotionally, mentally, financially. I also hear a new position, new job, new, new everything. Like I'm, I'm, I'm about to upgrade myself and I'm about to upgrade you is what I hear. Um, I also hear a lot of you guys. Um, uh, I hear somebody saying, um, I'm waiting on some money. Somebody may, may be waiting on some money that's supposed to be hitting a bank account that hasn't come. Um, but this person, but spirit wants you to know that you're about to get that money. And when you get that money, um, take that to invest it into the idea that you had. Spirit, what other messages you have for collective? And receiving today like whoever this person is you definitely been through some shit um you got a lot of haters around you and whoever this 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 i feel as if it's a female energy um of some sort spirit said take the upright cards not the face down so that's what i'm gonna do yeah whoever this person is they're definitely a young woman around your person um, they don't have any good intentions for your person. They're full of drama, full of bullshit. Um, but again, yeah, this person's full of drama. So whoever this young woman is, this, this young person around your person is, around you or your person, around you or your person, they're full of drama, full of bullshit. They, they're very funky, very shady. They, they are full of lust and temptation. They only want drama and nonsense. They are out for the kill. Yeah, long overdue. It was long overdue for you to take the time to really focus on yourself and to really start analyzing the people around you, you or your person. You're starting to relocate. Uh, and what I get from the relocation is that, that you're taking the time to really, really explore your, your outside uh, surroundings, getting into nature, um, really looking for a new place. I hear a lot. I hear spirits say some of you guys are moving. Um, I also hear spirits say someone was evicted. 
All right. Uh, learning from my past mistakes. Yes. Yeah, so whoever this person is, they're taking their self worth back. They're taking their power back. They're learning from the past mistakes that they made in order to grow and inform some stability. Yes. Children are involved in this connection as they're do anything. I hear somebody say, I'll do anything to protect my kids, even if it means selling everything that I got. All right. Planning a trip again. Like I said here, relocation, planning the trips. Some of you guys may have to leave the situation or place or place, people, places, or things where you at in order to get a better beginning. I hear spirits say relocation is good. And this is a confirmation from spirit that you're moving forward into a new place, a better situation. Yeah, read my line, phone call. So whoever this person is, definitely going to be hitting you up, trying to get in contact with you, trying to open up a line of communication because they feel as if that they owe you an apology of some sort. They really are trying to communicate with you. Yeah, around snakes, energy um, energy records. So whoever this person is, they're around people that are energy records, not providing them any stability, form of success, or happiness, or stimulation of any kind. Yeah, this person is definitely tracking your late location, definitely looking into certain things, trying to find out where you at. Um, you definitely need to take the time to really invest um, your money. Whoever's been waiting, for, I hear spirits say somebody's been waiting for money, but who has been waiting for that money? You need to invest that money into a business venture or plan uh, pertaining to some form of travel, money, or assistance with people, places, or things. Um, but whoever this person is, they've definitely been tracking your location, trying to get a hold of you because they've been trying to communicate and tell you something um, that's on their mind. I feel that this is very important. I, Spirit says take the communication, open the line. Um, Spirit, do you have any more messages for the collective before I close out? Let me get Let me get one more card for the collective. All right, Spirit, throughout these cards, Spirit said take, Spirit said don't take them. All right, so Spirit said place the deck in the middle. All right. Split three ways. Four, three. All right. All right, so Spirit said Spirit said, draw from this deck. Spirit is very particular when they have a message to deliver. You know? All right, Spirit. What messages do you have for the collective? All right. So, Spirit, throughout these three final cards. So, whoever this person is that is around you or your person, they don't regret anything they've done. This person also doesn't regret meeting you or knowing about you. This person wants to build a future with you until death do us part. They really do see a long-term relationship with you. They're hoping that this connection can be reestablished. Um, they were not ready. Um, either you or your person was not ready to, for a commitment at that time, but however this person is starting to move forward, they're learning that they have to close out certain cycles and doors in order to have a better future and outcome in their life. Um, Spirit is also saying now is the time to really take hold and really um, start looking into those ideas that you've had. Some of you guys may keep a journal or a book I hear um, of ideas. Um, Spirit is saying take the time to really invest in those ideas. I'm also hearing Spirit say that it's, no, it's nothing wrong with taking time for yourself when it comes down to, 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 to being a parent. Spirit is saying take time for yourself in order to heal energetically and to recharge yourself. Um I'm also seeing the number 222, completion of a cycle. Spirit throughout these final last two cards here. Yeah, stop giving a fuck about people. To, and this person never meant to hurt you. So again, whoever this person is that's, come, that's going to be coming back into your life or that's currently still in your life or you or your person, either you or your person never meant to hurt each other or never meant to cause any confusion. But Spirit wants you to know to stop giving a fuck about the past and start moving forward. It's now the time to start focusing on yourself and allow things that are meant for you to come to you and stop chasing the things that are not meant to be. All right. That is my message for the collective today on the channel message of bitch, please. I wish you would try me. So we've come to the conclusion that whoever this person is has a vindictive, very spiteful person around them and that this person does not like you. They want you to be gone. This person is really trying their best to work out a situation in order to come around in order to make amends and to bring forth some form of abundance or stability or an agreement with you. They definitely want to start a family. I definitely see somebody um, here um, getting on a promotion or getting a raise of some sort or moving into a new position or either traveling um but definitely remember that this is a general reading um take what resonates leaves the rest and again i like to thank everybody for tuning in and viewing um the, my channel today um you this is let's journey with spirit and you have been guided